Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So um, tonight I just wanted to do a little video on this motor. I um, Most of you have seen it already. Uh, it's my little Bedini kit motor. And I made a couple changes to it. Um, I have a little bit more wire on the coil, 475 turns. And um, uh, we have ceramic bearings now, which makes this thing just absolutely glide really nice. And then the rotor is is now ferrite which so many of you requested so here it is it's got six ferrites uh, triple stack grade 8 and um, yeah it turned out really nice uh, I still offer the Neo for those of you that want the Neo but it seems like most people are more interested in the ferrite so yeah this is how it comes it's got the pot the wires generator mode SG on and off switch uh, I use these Toshiba um, transistors they work really well uh, they're 200 watt. They're basically just like the MJLs. And um, yeah, it's a really nice kit. And um, I got a new printer and it printed this thing out really nice. So pretty cool. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of show it running. And I'm also offering the bobbin um, on my website as well as the ferrite wheel. So you could buy all these separate as well as the circuits or anything like that, all the cap dumps. Or on my website so let's put these aside so what I wanted to do is run this a little bit so you guys can kind of see how it's running with the new magnets and everything so so we're gonna start off I have it at 2 volts right now so right here on the power supply so this is the typical um, setup you know I use the yellow and white as the output going to the cap dump to second battery um, this is actually going to be our um, cap dump voltage, so you guys could take a look at that as well. And then we got the scope. So, um, like I said, right now we have it at two volts. So let's turn this on, and then we can give it a little little twist here as it starts to. Rip. So with the pot, you want to turn it all the way to the lowest resistance, and then the little light bulb. So at two volts. Um, you can see it's starting to charge up the capacitor so you know you're about a quarter of watt or so, so pretty neat the, the spikes aren't very big they um, um, if you undo the load at 2 volts you're only about 30 volts of, of output at, at the 2 volt level which is kind of interesting and um, it's not quite enough to fire the cap dump but it's really neat that it could you know still run like this and um, yeah, it's really smooth. I could get a light bulb here. And we could hook the light bulb up instead of the cap dump. And normally you don't want to do this, but the level is so low that it's not going to damage anything at the moment. So, so yeah, so you got two volts. It starts lighting up the 12 volt LED light. So, and um, Gen mode, you can see it's a little bit brighter. Runs a little bit different. So I use all these bay connectors um, because one, they're really easy and easy to get everywhere. But um, you have three different sizes. You have the red uh, for the smaller wire, the blue for the medium, and then yellow for 12 gauge, 10 gauge. And no matter what wire you have, they they all connect together, which is really nice for experimenting. So. Not doing alligator clips and having an alligator clip fall off and blowing your transistor out. So, at um, let's go up to three volts. So at three volts, things start changing. Um, the cap dump's going to start firing now. Just going from two to three, it makes a difference. And we could actually dial this back just a little bit too. So now the cap dump's starting to fire. The motor's just so smooth. I I actually um, the rotors I put on my lathe and cleaned them up and trued them up and they spin really nice. So yeah, let's bring this. So you can see how low it goes. So let's bring this kind of up to where it should be. I usually run it at 12 and you can see how crazy that thing starts getting. Um, we're using almost lamps so you really want to, this in generator mode, you want to back this thing off to where you're about 300 to 400 somewhere right there. In generator mode, so starts 
cranking pretty good. Um, when you're in generator mode, uh, you don't really want to put your power supply higher than 12. If you do like 14, 15 volts um, generator mode, it'll just kind of pass through your circuit. Um, so I like doing it at 12. That way there's no possible way that it could just transfer. So you're getting on full output right now. And uh, see how it kind of surges. So you want to back it off just a little bit more until it kind of smooths out. But it's a lot of energy. I mean, that cap dump's going two to three times a second. And um, yeah, cool. Let's make this where you can see a little bit better. So let's go back to SG mode. So SG mode, you want to start with the pot all the way at the lowest resistance to where the wires are. And you can see you're using a lot of power right now. You have a nice H wave over there. So you want to start increasing the resistance real slow to get it up to full speed. So you want to just keep going real slow until the motor gets really quieted down. Which is basically right around um, 700 ohms or so. So yeah, right there, that's that's moving. That's about 2,200 RPMs. You could feel the air coming off the rotor, running pretty smooth. You could see the cap dump firing off. Or you could actually probably go a little bit more. Go down to about 200 milliamps. See how far. So right there, change. So we want to back it back up. So right about there, that's your, your resonant running through H. So pretty smooth. You can see how fast this cap dump's charging. So this is um, four 10,000 caps, so your 40,000 mics. And it's triggering, uh, it's a 14 volt zinger, but it's triggering right almost to 15, about 14.8. And um, yeah. It's really smooth. I definitely suggest the cap dump. Gives you the ability to switch the batteries around and um, not change charging mode different. You know, if you want to negative charge something, you want to put this on SG and just use it straight to the battery. Um, if you want really fast charging, then, then you switch it over to generator mode and um, put the resistance pretty much as high as you could go. So the motor slows down enough to where it's not surging. This is that generator mode, 400 milliamps, that charges pretty fast. Actually, you need a bigger cap dump for that. <laughs> but yeah, you could turn this all the way to 1K. And um, yeah, it stays about between 2 and 400 milliamps, but the cap dump is going really nice. So what I'm going to do now, let's put the fan on here. Have a little bit of a load. So let's start in SG mode. And um, since the resistance is too high, it's just oscillating. So I'm going to back this back off and let it start going. So this is full resistance, so your light bulb's on. So you basically do the same thing with the fan. Just get it full speed, then start increasing the resistance till the light bulb goes out. And with the fan, it's going to be quite a bit less. So you're about 300 milliamps with the fan. You had about 600 RPMs. But yeah, you have a little bit of load and, and you're still charging really well. Um, if you go to generator mode, you want to slow that thing way down so it's not so surgy. And generator mode will actually run real slow and still give you a lot of energy return. So we could back that down like that, and it goes between 200 and 300. You could run a load with it, and you got a lot of charging. So pretty neat. So anyway, if you guys have any questions, just um, leave them in the comments. And this motor is available on my website. Thanks for watching.